Hello everyone. In this segment, we'll discuss about how to write a VHDL code of one bit comparator circuit using behavioral style of modeling. As you know, we can design combinational or sequential circuit using behavioral data flow or structural style of modeling. So let us consider how to design one bit comparator. Here we have a schematic that shows a comparator for one bit numbers which compares two inputs namely A and B and it produces three outputs as greater, equal and less. It simply indicates A greater than B, A less than B and A is equals to B. Now based on this, we will check its truth table also. Here you can see we have two inputs and three output terms. For the two input terms, we have four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Now according to their comparison, we shall get either of the output as 1. So in first and last case, equal is going to be 1 because A is equals to B. In second condition where A is 0 and B is 1, we will get A is less than B and in third condition A is greater than B. Now depending upon these conditions, let us see how to write its VHDL code. So we will start with defining the first element that is called as library. So I kept it as library IEEE. Then we will write the statement as use IEEE dot standard logic 1164 that is a standard package which we are using and we are using an extension called as dot all it simply indicates we are using all components from standard logic 1164 then we will come across declaring the entity entity name as comparator is we will define its port as port AB input equal greater or less as output we will end it and now we'll write architecture. The style of architecture is behavioral and entity name is comparator. We'll initialize it using statement begin. Then we'll write a statement called as process because we're dealing with behavioral style of modeling. In process, we have two inputs A and B. So we have written process A comma B. Now we'll initialize process statement using begin. And now we should proceed with writing statement as first if A is greater than B. Now if this condition is satisfied, Definitely greater is going to be 1, equal is going to be 0 and less is going to be 0. So we will get the output terms as equal 0, greater 1 and less is 0. Now if this condition is not satisfied, we have to come across second condition as else if A less than B. That means we have to check the second condition whether A is less than B. In this case, equal becomes 0, greater becomes 0 and less becomes 1. Now these are the two conditions we have presented. If neither A is greater than B and neither A is less than B, then we have to put the third condition as else. Our output is going to be equal becomes 1, greater becomes 0 and less becomes 0. So this is how we can use the if else statements. Finally, we will end the statement as end if, then we should write end process as well as end the architecture. So in this way one can go for writing a VHDL code for one bit comparator circuit. I hope you understood this concept. After that we should write end the process and the architectural style. Now if this is a code for one bit comparator circuit, we can write the same for two bit or for n bit comparator circuits also. Now there are n number of possibilities by which we can write the code using data flow using behavioral or using structural. So in next segment, we'll see how to write a VHDL code for two bit comparator circuit using behavioral style of modeling and maybe using structural style of modeling. Thank you very much.